Oh dear, what a racket. Do we need help? Not really. We can replace the drum on here. This is a WMFUG 842P UK M. Now, the M is in quite important. This is a different, slightly different drum to the uh, 842P UKs and a whole load of others. So please order the right drum. This one next day, straight from Hot Point Spares. Uh, I thought going through the Hot Point company would be expensive compared to others but in fact this is 20 quid cheaper than going through someone like eSpares or the others. I've also ordered a new door seal. This is a four year old machine and uh, it's getting pretty discoloured, slightly thin, still serviceable but come on for an extra 15 quid why not. First things first obviously isolate the water and electricity of course disconnect the hose and uh, unhook or disconnect the waste the drain is at the bottom right front here so we get this just literally clips in do it from the top and then we're going to slip a tray underneath just to uh, catch any drips when we unplug the drain hole so a rubber seal so a bit of water is going to come out here now hopefully not gallons. The machine's isolated now from water and electric. We've unplugged. Time to uh, get into the innards. First thing, take the lid off. Two small screws either side. Some you have to push the front back and it unclips hooks. This one literally unclucks or even unhooks from the front. Very simple. We're going to be uh, taking the brace bar off uh, and doing the concrete weight at the top here. Just loosening this off at the front as well. Good thing now is to uh, just take a few photos of the uh, connections, the way the wires, do they loop over the top, underneath, uh, just so you don't forget. The framing at the bottom of the machine uh, makes it almost impossible to get the drum out through the bottom, so we have to lift it up out. So I've got to clear all this out of the way. All these screws are much the same. Got a couple of little different ones on the soap powder tray. But lent my uh, electric driver to my future son-in-law and of course it hasn't come back so here we are old-fashioned screwdriver almost as quick and these two screws hold the front panel on well, so keep an eye on right 10 millimeter bolts hold this on so and this lifts off it's heavy Make sure you've got somewhere to stick it first. On the front here, the tray is held on with a little clip. Just push it forward and this one slides forward and out. And then in, in here there's two further screws which hold the front panel to the dispenser. This one's a simple single connector on the back here it pushes there now there's no clip on it and just a, a little plastic cap there this this is best to just pull it up first this will bend a little bit because it's it's hooked in which is a, a little bit of a fiddle but you just fill it until it comes on just to undo these we've already taken a photo so we can't get it the wrong way around just a small retaining clip there just pull that back gently prise it off and these are just uh, lift out, pop them to the side. So do that screw at the top there. All the rest down. Underneath the tray is the inlet connector. You can either undo it at the top there first and then uh, try and, well, just push the silicon out from the drum. It's not held in by anything other than a little rim. Okay, and then of course that will come away in one piece. So now we've created the space to lift the drum out 
uh, still a few more connections to undo from underneath. I'm going to unclip this uh, pressure valve here because it, I can imagine that would just pull off and snap that off otherwise. And it's just held in by little plastic lugs, so finger either side underneath, squeeze them together. And out that comes. So a little, just a little pressure cook there. And we'll hang that on. Now the drum suspended by two springs here and underneath a couple of uh, dampers. Uh, if you notice this, well, left hand side as you look from the front there's hardly anything in this side so instead of lifting this out because it still has its concrete block at the front which is difficult to get to on this machine uh, what we're going to do is slide a towel down here turn the machine on its side uh, undo the underneath so we'll see in a minute and then th this with the towel here you can just pull it out without without actually catching anything at all. We still have to undo the door seal at the front. This is held on by a thin metal wire attached to a spring. It's usually down at the bottom end here. Just get a little screwdriver in. And then you can just tease, tease the wire out. Uh, and this rubber, it, it will now just un unlip and you can uh, push it push it in quite simple so just put, pop that inside the the drum okay and then we're going to go underneath see I'm a little bit limited for space here but uh, I've laid a beach towel down and I don't particularly want to scratch up the uh, machine on the tiles around the back here we're going to uh, remove this so we can unhook the uh, Drive belt, lots of screws. The belt comes off quite easy, you just have to uh, tease it. Try not to get your finger caught in there because, well, you start singing then. Just pull it forward a little bit, ring it round. Off it comes quite easily. Now, down here, we've got the heater and the motor connections. Just in case you forget, pull them down. temperature probe uh, again it's got a little clip just clip it up and unhook just unhook that and it's just just held on there's a few little clips here they just let me unhook those just pull this connector out it's not held in by anything it's just literally a connector wonderful I'm going to take undo these two bolts here this holds the, mo the motor on it's on four lugs and it just pushes forwards and falls down, but we, of course we don't want to do that, so I'll do that from underneath, but I'll undo these bolts first. The motor bolts are 10 mil. But, uh, we're going to lay it on its side, on this left hand side, as you see from the front, and this will help us just drag the drum out rather than lifting it up because it has got its uh, front weight still attached and everything else and we've got to undo a few things underneath as well. Here we are from underneath. We've got the uh, drain pump. Just undo that connector there. I've already undone the connector to the uh, motor, undone the bolts, so this should slide forward and off. Usual thing, take a picture just in case. The uh, motor is a little bit heavy. It should just slide it forward, drag it out. Looks like a tortoise or something so you can lay that down I don't usually unclip the things from here and here right I undo the bolts here and then take the whole lot out then you've got more room to unclip at leisure clip those back onto the new drum and it's easier just to uh, retighten the bolts up here just a tiny little clip for two hands okay if you want to do a, a quite a thorough job uh, might be worth taking the uh, impeller pump off just two screws at the front here loosen it off we've undone the uh, electrical connections uh, you'll find I I've already done this last week when I ordered the wrong drum 
so I've already cleaned mine out, but here we go. Uh, you'll find all sorts of coins and bits and pieces all in here. I think I found about £2.75 in nice, fresh, laundered money. So I'm not going to uh, undo the pump or anything that has clean. I'll just undo this uh, Jubilee clip here. The uh, pressure level sensor is a couple of little clips here. Just pinch them together, loosen that off there. This will come off here, a little bit of water will be found. And then uh, I'll probably leave all that in. I'll just hook it up a little bit. Tea towel underneath, catch a few drips. Should be all right, that is all downhill. Loosen that off. Oh, you can see it already pulling off. So, and then we'll pop that off. Yeah, a few little drips there, but not too bad. So I, because I'm leaving this on, I'm just going to unclip, there's a little clip for the hose there. The other end of this is just as is. And we'll just uh, pull that through and hook this up somehow. The best part of laying the uh, machine on its left-hand side from the front is that all the control, the electronics tend to be on the right-hand side with very little. On the left so what we're going to do just i've just pulled the drum a little bit this way we can unhook the uh, springs these literally just clip out keep an eye on those make sure you know which which hole there's two ways you could put it in there or there so these ones are at the front i should remember that and also on this drum if you're not careful you accidentally put it in the upper hole it needs to go in the lower hole both sides so again from your pictures you'll remember that almost ready just to um, unhook the dampers from the bottom we've done the bit there there's hardly anything here I'll just pop a, another towel in here just to ease it over and we can just pull it out here without I'll oh, keep in mind these bits but it's pretty low I've hooked all the other bits out of the way so I can't damage those hopefully so let's uh, unhook the dampers from underneath here. It's just a 10 millimeter bolt. It really isn't gonna go clunk anywhere. Obviously it's a damper, so you just you know, push the damper in. So that's uh, everything released. Uh, we've still got the weight on the front here, but uh, it's so much easier to get the drum out and then undo that afterwards, okay? So back to the top end and we'll pull the drum out. So what we're going to do is just, uh, you know, push a towel in under there and let's just lift that over on that. I've opened the door obviously because otherwise that stops it getting out. And then we can just gently play the midwife part here. And uh, look at this. It's a baby. 10 mil bolts again. It's not going to fall on your feet, it's got lugs. So I'm just going to lift this off and because uh, we're going to put it almost back on straight away. Let's pop down a tea towel on the side there, that's fine. Neat little trick to get the uh, damper bolts off, they're a little plastic lug. Just get a 13mm socket, push it on, and out it comes. Just remember. Actually, I don't think it matters which way around that goes. But there we are. Pop that to the side. A more difficult here. Yeah, got a little lag there, but still doable. Actually, that's an even better, simpler way, isn't it? So many ways to kill a cat. And there we are. So the drum's out. Now I'm going to uh, replace the rubber. I mean, this one's all right, but you know, it's a bit. Nasty, I don't think my wife would like that. Uh, one of those spring clips, so just have to tease that over. And off that comes. So this drum's finished with now, we'll get this one out of the way, unbox the new one, and start putting it all together again. Now we've given birth to the drum, it's good time, time to clean up the box. There we go, nice clean box. What could be better? So, new rubber seal, uh, obviously the drain holes, 
there have to go at the bottom, which is obviously around there. But this uh, little lug here has a little pocket in it, which fits over this lug. So you can't really go wrong. So let's first uh, slip the, the lug on. So, uh, it's a little, like a little pocket here. I mean, you could use a little bit of uh, washing up liquid around here if you really want to, but so we just slip that on there. This all, almost means you can't really get this wrong because, because the way it is, you know, that has to lip over there. And then we're going to work that round the drum. It's quite important to ensure this is seated properly. Um, I found that it's sort of open up the lips as it were. This bit goes over, but this inside bit has to go over and up under the back of the uh, things. So just ensure that the, uh, the flange here is sat without any uh, rucks or anything around the edge. And on the inside, just make sure that this, this lip is is over over that bit there okay so to make sure that's in band just uh, fits back in the groove there dog's dinner of this but all right that should just snap into there so now we'll uh, pop the weight back on You can feel when they bite, they go too far, they'll crack this concrete. That's good. Time to hook the uh, dampers back on. Need to press until they click. Just make sure the lug's out so it can't go back and fall out. It's on one side. On the other side. Simple as that. Okay, and then we're going to uh, slide it back into the body of the machine. Attach the uh, water inlet. It's just, you can ensure there's a seal there before you put it back in. It's difficult to see otherwise. Washing up liquid around just to ease it, make it easier to get in. There we are. Let's just bring that round to the top. Okay, so I can see there's a nice, nice seal there. So I've just taped that on, stop it moving around and tape the uh, dampers uh, together, stop them flapping at the bottom and then we'll just push it in. Just uh, loosely Push the drum in, got the um, beach towel out. Oh, I'm going to hook the springs back in. They can only really go one way. If you put it in the wrong way, it won't hook there. So that hooks down there. Remember, it's the second one, not the first top one. Put in the uh, plastic brace. So really, I'm just going to put that in there. And we know it's the one at the front, so just hook, hook that in there. Quite simple. Do the same for the one at the bottom.
The old adage, check twice, cut once. We're connected, we're looped. It's not tight. That's in, that's in, that's in. Belt on later. This seal looks good all the way around. Clip that in there. Push the tube and clip it in halfway up the drum. We didn't really touch this, we just connected that again. Dampers in, tightened, bolts, all done. So really the bottom end of the machine is now uh, finished. Only the surprise of any leaks, but let's hope not. So machine back up right again. On board motor bolt to go in. And the belt back on. You can see where the grooves are, where the belt goes in there. So hopefully it'll line up. If it doesn't, it won't be seat centrally on here. Twist it round, give it a little helping hand, and on it goes. Just check you're uh, you're in the right the right grooves there. So if you do that round, then it will sit in the middle of the track on there. So great. And then the back goes on. Little grooves there. That bit on the inside. Wonderful, that's the back. Pop the screw in at the back here to hold the inflow in place. Good idea just to sort of uh, blow out any gunge in there. Round to the front, time to pop the seal back in its groove. Again, it's just a lip that lifts over Lovely, door seal back on, three clips at the bottom, make sure you've tightened up the drain. Let's go in. And... Now back to the top and we'll start putting all the connections together. It's the white one at the back. Just click that in. Probably the same with the uh, pressure gauge here. That literally just clicks in. And we had the wires over the top, if you remember. Uh, I've just looped that into the cage there, and then this. So that just pushes up in there. Now we have to just connect the front control panel. Uh, this has to match up with this. I've found that if you slide that bit in first, just lift the tray up. It has to fit into little holes. Click in, so it just lips over. This side tends to be up a little bit. Over the back here, just get that clip. Okay, make sure the wires aren't connect, uh, scagging on anything. Connector in, that all right. Nothing touching the sides, those in, those in. Nothing much we touched over here. Springs are set. That looks good. Nothing catching on anything. So a few more screws and they're almost there. Two smaller, thinner screws. Hold the tray back in. This is a reversal. Yes, fit over the lip here. 
haven't cleaned it up of course and that bit just literally clicks clicks and if you push in a little bit it'll catch and go over the little ball lovely two screws here and here right time to pop the weight on the top Up liquid on the bolts again. Racing bar. Okay, lid back on. There we are. So now we just have to connect up the services and see what happens. Hopefully back in working order. Just trying it on a rinse and spin, make sure there's no leaks. Drum replacement on a hot point WMFUG842. This is a PUKM model, which is different if you don't have the M, it's a different drum. So make sure you order the right bit. Oh, beautiful peace and quiet. Ah. Almost. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps if you're going to attempt this yourself. It's quite a reasonable job. All you need is a 10 millimeter socket and Phillips type screwdriver small screwdriver just to ease off various parts 